Hey guys, doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Welcome to... Indoor Hydroponics! And it's the middle of November 2015. We've got snow in the forecast, which means it's perfect time to kick off the hydroponic indoor season here. All my plants are put away for the summer uh, that I grew outside. Got a little bit of hate mail. Little bit of hate mail this year because... Uh, I think uh, the, uh, the name of the channel is kind of deceiving people. It's called Indoor Hydroponics. Meanwhile, I'm growing outside organically in nature during the summers. Guys, of course, I shut down the grow rooms during the summer um, just to be a little bit environmentally friendly, save a little bit of money, that type of thing. And uh, the purpose of, the cha of this channel is all about the plant, guys, right? We want to grow our own food. We want to grow uh, whether it be lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, things of that nature, whether it be outdoors, indoors, whatever, is a leg up on the rest of the people, right, guys? Right. Because right. Right. we're not spraying fungicides, herbicides, and um, insecticides on any of our plants, which are chemicals we do not want to ingest. So, guys... It's all about the plants. Now, all we need to do here to get started for this year's grow is uh, we've got some seeds here. We're going to do a lot of greens this year. We're going to have a couple of surprise grows this year. This is the introductory video to it. And basically, all we need to do to get started here, and it is as simple as a bowl of water, a leftover lemon that uh, is a little bit old. Guys, squeeze her in. And what that'll do is bring our uh, acidity down in the water because we are going to use rock wool, which will be our seed starting media, which has a low or a high pH. And what the lemon juice does is brings the pH down in the water. And uh, we are going to plant some seeds today. Um, we are going to do some videos for the entire duration of the grow. Again, this is just the introductory video. Wonderful job, guys. And we are going to soak some rock wool, plant some seeds, and get going this year, guys. So, uh, again, just as a reminder, guys, it's about the plant. It's not about her, her, or me. It's about the plant. So, here's a little something uh, to kick off the season with to um, remind you about the plant. Stay tuned. We're going to come back with lots of grows over 2004. Uh, 15 2016 so guys as always thanks for watching please like subscribe and comment and we will see you very very soon here on indoor hydroponics yep. peace now can we get growing let's get growing girl Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. Hi, I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Welcome inside my grow room today. It takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? All those nights when you've got no lights, the check is in the mail. And your little angel the cat up by its tail and your third fiance didn't show sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name and they're always glad you came you want to be where you can see our troubles are all the same you want to be where everybody knows your name Roll out of bed, Mr. Coffee's dead The morning's looking bright, morning's looking bright. And your shrink ran off to Europe And didn't even write And your husband wants to be a girl Be glad there's one place in the world Where everybody knows your name Everybody knows your name long 
time uh, subscribers, you know that I shut down the grow room um, during the summer and utilize the sun and nature to grow plants. Got some hate mail this year in, in regard to the oh, name of my channel. That wasn't cool, was it? Yeah, no, 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 I didn't think it was cool either. Uh -uh. Wait, what is hate mail? Hate mail is people that just weren't happy with my channel because I was growing things outside and I wasn't growing indoors nor hydroponically and I got some private messages and I got some comments and things of that nature but what I think people f tend to forget is any way that you can grow your own vegetables, grow your own food, grow your own produce is a step in the right direction. We're not using herbicides, pesticides, fungicides.